Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find HCF of two numbers. We will be solving two examples in this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first two numbers here are 27 and 63. We are going to find the HCF of these two numbers. So the full form of HCF is highest common factor. As the name suggests, it is the highest common factor in between the two numbers. Factors are numbers which divide the two numbers fully without leaving a remainder. So for finding the HCF of these two numbers, we are going to use the prime factorization method where we divide the two numbers together. So here we are going to write the two numbers 27 and 63 and we'll find the HCF of these two numbers. As both the numbers are odd, we can divide both the numbers by number 3. 3 times 9 is 27 and 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 1 is 3. Now 9 and 21 are also divisible by number 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 7 is 21. Now there is no common factor which divides the two numbers 3 and 7 fully. So we are going to stop here and our HCF will be the product of the numbers or factors which are common. So here 3 times 3 is the HCF of the two numbers. So HCF of 27 and 63 is 9. Let's move on to our second example where we find the HCF of 24 and 36. Let's start with our ladder method. So we'll write the two numbers together like this and we'll divide the two numbers by their common factors. Here their common factors is 2 as both the numbers are even. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, remainder is 1 and then this becomes 16, 2 times 8 is 16. Again both the numbers are divisible by 2. So 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 9 is 18. Now both the numbers are divisible by number 3. So 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9. Now we see that 2 and 3 are not divisible by a single number. So we are going to stop here and the HCF of the two numbers will be the product of the numbers on the left hand side of the ladder. So 2 times 2 times 3 is the HCF of the two numbers. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So HCF of 24 and 36 is 12. It is the highest common factor which divides the two number fully. There is one more method which we can use to find the highest common factor of the two numbers. That is called the factor method where we write the factors of both the numbers separately and then find the common factor. So let us solve these two examples with the factor method too. So 27 can be written as the product of 1 and 27. So we'll write 1 and 27. And then 2 is not the factor of 27. Then we'll go to 3. 3 times 9 is 27. So 3 and 9 are factors of 27. So we have written all the factors of 27. Next we'll go to 63. So 1 and 63 makes a pair. So 63 times 1 is 63. Then we'll move on to number 2. 2 is not a factor. Then 3. 3 times 21 is 63. Then the other factors of number 63 are 7 and 9. Because 7 times 9 is 63. So we have written all the factors of 27 and 63. We see that the common factor in between the two numbers are 1, 3, 9, these are the common factor in between the two numbers. But among these, the highest common factor is number 9. So the HCF of the two numbers is 9. Factors of 24 are 1 times 24 is 24. Then 2 times 12 is 24. Then 3 times 8 is 24. Then 4 times 6 is 24. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. So we have written all the factors of 24. Let us now write the factors of 36. So 1 times 36 is 36. 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 12 is 36. Then 4 times 9 is 36. And 6 times 6 is 36. So we have written the factors of 36 too. Among these factors, there are a lot of common factors in between the two numbers like 2, 3, 4, 6, 
12 so 2 3 4 6 12 are the common factor in between the two numbers but the highest common factor is 12 so the hcf of the two numbers is 12 so this is how we can find the hcf of two numbers using the factor method or the ladder method whichever method you are comfortable with you can use that method to find the factor of the two numbers so i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching